Hey, Herman the German here. And uh, before I start the video, I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers for helping me reach 800 subscribers. Now it's at 805. I greatly appreciate y'all. And the comments y'all leave in my videos, it helps me want to do more videos for you and get better content out. So from the bottom of my black German heart, thank you so much, guys. Now, the winds of change update. It's crap. Well, guys, that's going to be the video. And wait, what? Oh, I have to explain why it's crap. Okay, ref, I get it. I get it. So, yeah, winds of change. Graphics look a little better, but constant FPS drop. Graphical glitches constantly on screen, and it'll distract you a lot. No changes at all to maps, you know, a map rework, which a lot of people want. And Israel. I have just played 50 battles at 5.3, and constantly I was facing 6-0 against this thing. Just, what's the point of armor angling, Gaijin? You know, what's the point? You angle your armor to try to protect you, but 400 millimeters of heat round coming from a 105 millimeter gun, a post-war gun, yeah, just a little frustration on that end. Matchmaking's been a joke. Germany versus everyone, and with Israel on the enemy team, it just, you know, armor means nothing anymore in this game. Um, they nerfed a lot of the German low-tier stuff. A lot of the German AA was nerfed. Like, this thing had 50 millimeters now. 39. And that is very frustrating, Gaijin, because the Russian AA can run around killing tigers and stuff, but we can't now because, oh, the whirlwind's overpowered. No. No, Gaijin. No. Even the Kubel Blitz was not safe from this nerf. 95 to 77. Just... Come on, Gaijin. Like, ugh. Yeah, this game is just frustrating, guys, right now. It's very difficult to play. It's getting really frustrating with matchmaking. Like, I've been getting matches all the time. Germany versus every nation in the game, and it'll be at 6-0. We don't have this until 6.3. We have this. You see these constantly, but... Like I said, 50 cows rip it apart. There, there, no chance of survival. Germany needs a World War II scout tank line. I don't care if you add captured vehicles, Gaijin. Germany needs something to get ahead of the Hellcats, ahead of the M64s, because the spam right now with all the light tanks, EBRs, all that driving right to your spawn point is getting very frustrating to play. Really getting frustrating. And the new map, don't even know what's called. I think it's supposed to be a, a city in Israel. Not a fan of it. Yeah, this... But don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We, we have the A-10. We're having issues with the game and constant FPS drop, but... The A-10's in the game, guys. A-10's in the game. Just... And the sounds for it sound god-awful. I've heard it, and I'm like, this is the best you can do. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this update. Nothing World War II added for Germany. We got to deal with the heat spam of Israel tanks at 6-0, and then they are fast AMX 13s. Constant glitches on screen you've seen in my videos. That's the game, not my computer. My computer's super strong, and it's running like crap right now. And, uh... Yeah, sadly, nothing new for Germany. Well, except that stupid thing. Which I will never play because I only play World War II. Like, Gaijin. Here's a question for you, Gaijin. If you ever watch this. You're almost at the top of ta tanks and modern jets. You're about to probably do fourth gen jets. Are you going to go back to do some World War II stuff that you miss? Like the JU-88 with the 88mm gun... 
Are we going to get more unique vehicles like the Panzer IV Hydrostat, the Stug IV? Or maybe Germany will get concrete armor that they put on their tanks? Like, you're almost to the top, Gaijin. You're almost to the top. What are, what are you going to do? Are you going to do prototypes like what you did with the... And don't even get me started on this thing being in the game. Where is it? Where is it? This stupid thing. Gaijin, why? Why is this at such a low BR when it has this? Germany already deals with enough heat FS and Sabo and all that crap at 6-7. And higher. Just come on, Gaijin. And my personal favorite, I love, where is it, where is it? The Rattel. South African vehicle. Fighting Tiger 1H's Panzer IVs, the KV-1C at 5.0. And it gets this. Why can't it just get a standard AP round to balance it? What's the point of armor angling? It's a freaking joke, Gaijin. And you know it is. And this is turning into a rant, guys. I do apologize. I would recommend getting to your bunkers. And, oh yes, the Panzer IIs were nerfed to historical ammo, but... Does that mean the SU-122 is going to go up in BR? Where is it? Because you literally can't pen this thing unless you're point-blank range. Where is it? This thing. Is this going to go up in BR? I... <sighs> to be honest, guys, the game's very frustrating right now. Just... I used to love the game when it was World War II, and the game should have stayed World War II. I don't like this modern crap. I don't like the power creep that's going on in the game. The glitches, all that. And one more thing before I leave. Why can't I hear engines half the time, guys? And I have volume all the way up in this game to hear enemy engine noises. And half the time, you don't hear the Hellcat climbing up the hill behind you with this loud American engine trying to rev up the hill. Whoever's the sound guy needs to be fired. All right? Get someone that actually makes some good engine noises. Because half the time you can't hear an enemy plane diving on you or the tank flanking you five feet behind you. You don't hear anything. I do apologize, guys. This has become a rant. I'm probably going to do a video on what this game needs. It needs a quality of life update. But thank you so much, guys, for coming. Hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one.